So one of the reasons why Silicon Valley does a, is very successful is what we refer to as a market network. So a market network is a combination of talent. So you have local universities that have strong domain experience in IT or something of that sort. And it's graduating students that want to start companies. It has a customer. So somebody who's going to be the early adopter. So in Silicon Valley, that might be Cisco or Microsoft or somebody of that sort that's willing to buy from a startup some new compelling technology that they're developing. And that gives feedback to the entrepreneur about what features to prioritize and lets them manage their, their resource planning and product features more effectively. And they get that immediate feedback. It has what we refer to as a pay it forward network. They're entrepreneurs who've been successful. They built and started a company 20 years ago. They went through the hell of starting a company. They succeeded and they sold. And somebody along the way helped them and helped solve a problem or was key to their success. And they feel a moral responsibility to help the next generation. And they provide sort of key tactical advice about things to concentrate on. And Fourth, a market network has uh, risk capital. It has people who understand that technology area, understand when something's risky or when it's really not that risky, and that they're willing to deploy capital. And so the combination of these four elements, talent, customer, capital, and pay it forward network, at critical mass, makes that technology region um, very successful at bringing new innovations to market rapidly and at scale. And there's clear evidence in Silicon Valley that that, that is very strong. At iSelect, we're focused, one, on closing the capital gap. How do we bring more capital from the region in to companies? But the other thing we're focused on is tightening up the market network. So that in most regions, whether that's a St. Louis or a Kansas City or a Cleveland, there are elements of these pieces of the market network, but they may not know each other that well. They may not communicate that much. They may be stuck on different sides of town. There, there are lots of things that separate them. The more that we can draw them together, both physically and virtually, puts gain into the efficiency equation of of an innovation. So, for example, we concentrate a great deal on agriculture. We concentrate on healthcare. We concentrate on energy at iSelect. In agriculture, we're building a market network in which farmers and commodity traders are starting to help evaluate the investments we're making in agriculture and giving us additional feedback you know, what price would they pay for seed what types of products are important uh, we are looking at new technologies using probiotics in place of fertilizer and so the peculiarities of how that's operated in the field and and how it's uh, it's fragile if you probiotics can go bad. So what's the best way to store it and cool it? And bring that feedback in bulk for our startups. Because if you're an ag startup, you've got to build out all those networks. As an investor in ag, why don't we just have that network pre-established and then match our startups with those companies to give them that extra little bump so that they can get to market quicker, get sales quicker, learn from the sales process. We have a healthcare market network. The, the early adopters in healthcare are typically doctors. Uh, patients often want new technologies, but often the gatekeeper is the doctor. And so in healthcare, we have built a network of doctors. Uh, those are, in every major city, there's a medical society, and the medical society represents doctors that are concerned about 
uh, the field of medicine and they are concerned about education and new technology. And they're quite numerous in the St. Louis area. There are about 1,500 of these people in the key medical society. And so we've drawn them in so that we're working on therapeutics and new technologies for healthcare. We need doctors that are experts in particular field, like Alzheimer's or neurological disease that can, that can assist the company as they think about their test procedures and patient reactions. We've got, we have, we're doing research on immunotherapy for breast cancer and we need doctors and radiologists who can help our startups understand the results of their phase trials. And then as we, our companies start to go to market, we need doctors who are expert that have, that can bring patients for drug trials and, and help us understand the best patients to test something with. And so we've built a market network around that for our healthcare companies. And we're gonna do that in all cases of all the major verticals that we're working with because it helps manage resources effectively, it helps the company grow faster, uh, and is essentially the same practice that's used in all successful innovation markets.